This is definitely the worst male lead I've ever seen. The master who was dependent on him was not only abused by humans. In the end she was executed by the king in public. To show his status the king also ordered her to be beheaded. The hero who watched all this happen has hated humans ever since. After ten years of imprisonment the hero has been living a life that is not like this. Today he finally has a chance to escape. The first thing he wants to do is to take revenge on the humans. And even for that he is not afraid to kill. A long long time ago the gods created mankind. In order to help humans live better lives the gods then created magical girls. The gods gave some of their power to the witches to protect humans. However with the advancement of human technology, they no longer need to rely on witches as much as they used to. But with the development of human technology, they no longer need to rely on them as much as they used to even more so they began to fear the power of witches. For the sake of their own safety and security they decided to strike first and start a large-scale abuse of the witch. Although the main character is a human he grew up with Chloe as his master. After that he followed Chloe to live a life on the run. Chloe is a very optimistic person. Chloe is a very optimistic person and she often tells jokes to make the hero happy. Although the two are master and disciple they have known each other's feelings for a long time. The male lead couldn't understand why the master could still be so optimistic. If it were him he would definitely fight back and would never sit around like this. Just as the two were chatting the guards had chased after them. Even though they were fortified with modern weapons they were still no match for the male master and the others. He was just about to counterattack when the master stopped him. However on the other side the king who learned that the guards were completely wiped out didn't continue to pursue them because he has a more evil plan. As expected Chloe defeated the pursuers instantly but their position was also exposed. The hero who is completely unaware of this starts complaining about Chloe again. He didn't understand why Chloe didn't let him fight. But before Chloe could explain the two of them were transported to the sky by a strange spell. Chloe immediately sensed something was wrong. Because as far as she knew this was a human invented hyperspace teleportation device. They only needed to pass through a satellite to teleport the target to a designated location. And in the meantime the king had already started his speech. Not only did he shift all the sins to the witch clan, moreover he also compelled the humans to slaughter all the magical girls who had helped them. The king's persuasion made everyone excited, but unbeknownst to them it was all a plot by another woman. And almost at the same time the hero and the others were transported to the central square of the empire. Looking at the king in front of him the male lead immediately understood their current situation. Because he himself was a human he intended to help Chloe by time to escape. But the hero was still a child after all. Before he could use his magic he was pressed to the ground by the soldiers and the king's behavior completely angered Chloe. But Chloe couldn't believe how her magic disappeared. Turns out the king had prepared a countermeasure from the very beginning, because they had already invented a device that could disable magic. So no matter how much Chloe resisted she was now defenseless. At this point Chloe who was unable to use magic had become a clown in the eyes of the humans. They even raised their cell phones and took pictures of her most pitiful and helpless side. Everyone was beyond crazy. Their ugly faces were more evil than anyone else. But even though the hero tried his best there was still nothing he could do with his current power. And the king wasn't going to waste any more time. So he ordered his men to kill the hero immediately. Watching the scene in front of her Chloe was completely compromised. She kneeled down in front of the king without hesitation. She not only took all the faults on herself. And she also claimed that the hero was raised by her as a slave. At this moment Chloe let go of all her dignity. She only wants to save the one she loves. If she could save the hero's life she would do anything to save him. Looking at the scene in front of him the hero has already cried his eyes out. He kept writing incantations with his hands. How he wished for a miracle to happen right now. But the king took out a gun without mercy and put it on Chloe's head. With the sound of the gunshot Chloe died completely in front of the hero's eyes. But the king was not about to let it go. At his command the soldiers raised their weapons high and attacked Chloe's body wildly. With the crowd cheering the hero fell into complete despair. At this moment he remembered a little bit of his life with Chloe. If there were no humans perhaps they lived happier than anyone else. And after watching himself lose everything the hero's hatred for humans reached the extreme so he secretly vowed. One day he will destroy all humans with his own hands. Ten years have passed since then. The destruction of the witch did not bring peace. Even though technology has reached unprecedented heights. But mankind continues to wage war. Countless female captives were taken as slaves. Not only were they underfed but they were also used as toys for the nobles. But a girl named Dorothea is optimistic. Whenever her best friend Anna is depressed she tries to comfort her in any way she can. But just then the soldiers come back to pick out the toys of the nobles. Because no one responded to their shouts of 218 everyone was scared to death. But unbeknownst to them Anna was number 218. So for the sake of her friends Daroka chose to stand alone. Soon she was taken to the warden's room. Faced with the warden's order to take off her clothes Daroka froze in place completely. Looking at the other tortured girls Daroka couldn't wait to kill him now. So she took advantage of the warden's break in taking pictures and bit down on his hand. After that she took advantage of the chaos and took his cell phone. After much trial and error Daroka finally cracked the phone's permissions at the last minute. First she opened the prison doors all the way. Then she took advantage of the chaos and ran alone to the innermost room of the prison. But just as she stepped inside she was shocked by the scene in front of her. 
but before she could react she was pressed to the ground by the soldiers who came after her. The soldiers looked particularly panicked. They seemed to be particularly afraid of the people locked up in the apparatus. Just then a strange noise suddenly came from the instrument. In the next second the hero who had been sleeping for ten years finally opened his eyes again. And the first thing he does after escaping from prison is to slaughter humans by any means necessary. And at the same time the military also learned of this news. In order to capture the hero they also sent one of the strongest cadres Eckhart. While he looks very elegant on the surface he is a complete pervert. Every time he carries out a mission he kills innocents indiscriminately. And on the other side the hero also got back his own magic pen. With a simple wave of his hand he writes a string of spells that entwine magic out of thin air. At the same time the heroine escaped from the shelter. Looking at the chaos created by the hero she felt very guilty inside. She even blamed herself for all this. For the hero the attack just now wasn't enough. Because if it wasn't for these stupid people he wouldn't have become what he is now. Even now ten years have passed. He still can't forget everything that happened that day and the words his master said before he left. Accompanied by the moment the hero wrote his magic the ground around him cracked. A huge arm came out from the ground. And it was the very same colossal soldier that the hero had summoned through his written summoning magic. The city was no match for the giant. It just casually swung its hand and the entire street was instantly destroyed. Even though humans had been killed and injured the hero had no intention of stopping. He maneuvered the divine soldier and took a step in the direction of the palace. He destroyed the city with reckless abandon. Seeing that this was not the way to go on the military also began to take the necessary measures. The tanks were the first to join the battle, but the shells they fired were off course. The giants acted as if they were protected by a barrier which couldn't hurt the hero one bit. And the hero just casually punched the tanks which instantly destroyed all the tanks along with the building materials. It turns out that the hero has been imprisoned for ten long years. During this time he not only simulated countless wars in his head, but he also researched various magic spells through his thinking. Because the only way for humans to use magic is written summoning magic. That's why the hero understood almost all the magic formulas after analyzing the magic structure. All he wants now is to avenge the woman he loves. He wants to completely slaughter all the humans in this country. Just as the hero was distracted a cot who was not far away locked onto his bearing. After that fighter jets came overhead. He threw out missiles and launched a fierce attack on the giant. The hero was momentarily careless so he had to abandon the giant and use it to draw fire. Oh he created the conditions for himself to escape. The male lead didn't intend to escape. First he used his magic to jam the signals of the airplanes and then crash them all. After that he leapt down and killed all the troops in the simplest and most brutal way. Just then a scolding voice suddenly came from behind him. How could the hero not expect? The person who stopped himself was the woman he saved from prison. The woman doesn't seem to realize the seriousness of the problem. He kept accusing the hero of killing innocent people. Hearing this kind of words the insufferable hero directly pinched the enemy's head. And he slowly walked to the heroine. Now he couldn't wait to crush this hateful woman in front of him. Man lifted the woman up and he kept questioning her. He kept questioning who she was talking for. She is obviously a waste of time who knows nothing but she still has to put on the appearance of a saint. However just as the hero was about to do something the heroine suddenly used her magic. She also confessed her identity as a witch. Hearing all this absurdity the hero who had already lost his mind became even more furious. At this moment he vented all his grievances on the heroine. He could not wait to strangle her to death. The heroine suddenly said that she had a way to bring his dead master back to life. Not only did this fail to bring the hero back to his senses, but it also completely touched his bottom line. Reason for this is that in the eyes of the hero no matter who he is he has no right to talk about his master. How can a person be resurrected after death? Is it possible that you are making fun of me? In the face of the male master's face of killing the female master not only did not panic. Instead she was ready to meet death with a smile on her face. Looking at the scene in front of him the male lead felt as if he had gone back to the day of his master's death. At this point he couldn't hold on any longer. His ten years of longing for his master made him choose to believe everything the heroine said. Just when the heroine wanted to tell him everything she was suddenly shot. The heroine didn't break immediately. Just as she was about to tell the information about the resurrection the humans attacked once again. Even though the hero dodged the bullet. What the heroine just said he didn't understand at all. At this moment the enemy had already aimed their guns at him once again. At this moment the male lead's anger reached the extreme. Only to see him writing incantations in the air. After that a string of characters slowly wrapped around his whole body. The face of the enemy's gunfire the hero did not hide. Waited for the perfect moment. Though in the next second he seized the moment and fired all the bullets back. Just as the hero was finishing off the soldiers there was a man with a sniper rifle not far away. Other party locked the hero as a target. The pull of the trigger the bullets shot to the front of the hero with the fastest speed. The male lead didn't panic at all he directly used magic to break down the bullet. Next second a bullet comparable to a missile fired back. The hero killed the enemy's ace. He didn't feel good at all. The stupid humans don't deserve to live at all. This moment all he could think about was killing all humans. However on the other side pink hair had already arrived in front of the machine that eliminated the magic. 
Just when she thought she could take care of the hero without any problems she was stopped by the people in charge here. Don't want Pink Ma to use this machine. Because this thing emits scientific particles. Most all of the soldiers who participated in the witch war ten years ago died because of it. There are no more wizards that can repair nature today. But once they open this device human flesh will collapse with it. Even their great king is bettered in because of this disease. Looking at the male lead who is slaughtering with abandon the director in the command room can't really do anything about it. Can only helplessly instruct the caller to temporarily stop the plan to activate the machine. Pink hair didn't think so. She didn't want to throw away the opportunity that was so close at hand. So despite everyone's advice she ran resolutely towards the switch position. The push of a button the machine that had been sealed for ten years was once again running. At the same time the hero's side suddenly sensed an abnormality. The pen not only bounced away but even his magic power gradually disappeared. This is the price that pink hair and the others have paid with their lives. In order not to waste this rare opportunity all the soldiers swarmed at this moment. Just when the male lead was about to be killed by the random shooting a woman suddenly rushed in without authorization. The hero reacted she had already aimed her gun at his head. Just at that moment the falling building suddenly blocked the center of the battlefield. The woman even took this opportunity to completely kill the male lead. Soldiers were surprised to find out that the building had been destroyed. Soldiers were surprised to find that the woman was holding the hero's head in her hand. Soldiers were surprised to find that the woman was carrying the head of the man in her hand after confirming that the man was really dead almost all of the soldiers regarded the woman as a hero. Even the king who is dying is still holding himself together and continues to give the people a boost of strength. However on the other side there was a woman who came to mourn the dead. Her boyfriend died in the disaster. Instead of feeling sad she is also without realizing it infatuated with the main male character. Just when she was intoxicated a strange man suddenly appeared beside her. The girl caught a glimpse of his batch. It's exactly the symbol of a government job. Strangely enough the man not only didn't tear down the girl's behavior in public, even promised to keep her secret. The overwhelmed girl had just gotten out from under the man's nose. The result is that in the next second the man immediately ordered the arrest of the girl for treason. At the same time the same bad news came over the phone. The man's body was a fake. Turns out that the decapitated male lead didn't actually die but was transported to the Valley of the Witch. His interdimensional transfer is too much of a load on humans. The male lead's current state is very dangerous. Luckily that's when the leader of the witch arrived. Stimulated through magic thus allowing the male lead to regain his composure. Immediately after that the hero's memory went back to two and a half hours ago. Turns out that the woman who killed him just now was not a human but the heroine's best friend. Also infiltrated this country as a human witch Anna. Before the male lead could say anything. The result he was instantly wrapped up in bandages that suddenly appeared. This was the witch's interdimensional transfer magic. When the male lead opened his eyes again he had already arrived in the so-called land of the witch. He was taken care of every day the hero always felt strange. As not only did the magical girls look happy. Also it was as if they hadn't experienced the war back then. Just as the hero was thinking about it he had been brought to the leader of the magical girls. The chief told the hero that all the magical girls in this country knew his master Chloe. The leader then told the hero that all the magical girls in this country knew his master Chloe and that in everyone's eyes she was a stronger and wiser magical girl than anyone else. Everyone idolizes her. He was expelled from the land of witches because of a certain incident. Hero knows better than anyone that this event refers to himself. His magical girls are never allowed to teach magic to humans. Even if no one mentioned exactly what the reason was he could still feel it very clearly. In the middle of the conversation the chief took out the male lead's magic feather again. Without this magic quill isn't just any magic tool. It's not only built by Chloe for the male lead but even in the whole world only he could use it. His magical girls don't lie. Why the chief assured the male lead that Chloe can definitely be resurrected. In this the male lead finally breathed a sigh of relief. For just then he saw the blue sphere not far away. The chief told the hero that the land of the witch moved to the moon ten years ago. Science unleashed the greedy nature of mankind. The gods then created this current world of spheres far beyond their prying eyes. In order to make the hero believe in the existence of the gods the chief brought him back to the so-called tree of life. Though the hero had heard of this tree it was the first time he had seen it. As Chloe kept her mouth shut about the birth of the witch. It's only then that the leader told the truth. Female only magical girls can have an heir. It can only reproduce through the fruit of the divine tree. At this point it was as if the hero had seen Chloe who was about to be resurrected. He can't believe his eyes and he can't believe that resurrection magic actually exists. Chief told him that it was not Chloe but just a witch waiting to be born. It turns out that the only way to realize the resurrection magic is the writing magic used by the hero. He is the only one who can visualize the idea of everything. All he has to do is write out his memories according to this principle. Then be able to infuse the materialized memories into the fruit embryo thus resurrecting anyone who has died. As long as he is ready then he can start the resurrection ceremony at any time. Hero fantasizes about his beloved finally coming back from the dead. Just then Anna the heroine's best friend suddenly arrives. It was a particularly bad attitude. Also her friend made her want to kill the hero now. 
face of Anna's accusations the hero always acted unimpressed. In his opinion he was only a part of the witch's plan. Reason why the witch went to his rescue. Puss is also just to utilize the resurrected Chloe and this pen in his hand. Finally the heroine has told the hero all about the witch's plan before she died. At this point he knows better than anyone else. The called land of the witch is simply a birdcage. Place is something built to keep humans. Use of interdimensional transfer they can kidnap human slaves or children over. Teach them written summoning magic to fight. The only one who can make a quill is Chloe. Why everyone is so desperate to resurrect her. It's left Anna a little overwhelmed. Still cheekily begged the male lead to help the only remaining magical girl. The current male lead is no longer the child he was ten years ago. Lee told Anna. It's the resurrected Chloe has the same idea. As the witch is just as much an enemy in his presence. Comes to the next day. Initiation of the ceremony the hero walked into the resurrection ceremony spell. The prayers of the magical girls the fragments carrying the memories began to slowly condense. Like conscious and kept pouring into the divine tree embryo. Trance the memories of the past kept surfacing in front of his eyes. Just when everyone was expecting the witch to be resurrected they didn't want to be teased by the male lead. What the hero resurrected was not Chloe but the dead heroine. Turns out that just now the hero finally followed Chloe's wishes and gave up bringing her back to life. Followed it up by utilizing the memory switch. Crowd's astonished gaze he chose to resurrect the female lead who had saved his life. After a brief flashback the heroine then realized that she had returned to the land of the witch. But very puzzled did she not die. Being reminded by others she realized that she was not wearing any clothes now. Hoped that the male lead would forget about it and erase the memories about it. This the male lead didn't say anything. Calmly walked over to the female lead. Expressing his gratitude he draped the pre-prepared clothes over her. And couldn't believe it. Oh had given up the only chance to resurrect Chloe. Either of the witches questioned the same thing. And really questioned the hero why he failed everyone. Clearly the witch who risked her life to save him. And he wasted Chloe's resurrection ceremony. How he repays everyone. It was out that the chief saw the problem right away. Knew that it must be that the female lead had said something to the male lead that she shouldn't have. Her things have turned out the way they have. She no longer hid it and directly revealed her true colors. Just at that moment a series of strange points of light suddenly appeared behind them. Though the chief didn't know what was going on yet. Out of doubt she understood that this must be the male lead's trick. Expected it turned out that this was all the male lead's plan. Lies the locator that the human had installed in his body. The way he managed to tell the humans the location of the witch's land on the moon. Huge explosion the last tree of life of the witches was mercilessly burned down. When the chief was at a loss for words a heavily armed human appeared in front of her again. It was none other than the human side's supreme combatant director of security Yamato. Almost imperial soldiers were teleported as well. Hero was surrounded by them at this point. He didn't look flustered at all. Same time another witch was trying to douse the flames on the tree of life with water magic. Before she could finish her words she ended up being killed by the soldiers who suddenly appeared. Water magic also failed in an instant. At the scene in front of her the chief's anger reached its peak. Immediately decided to go to war with the humans. Other side of the battlefield the hero also entered the battlefield. The captain's preemptive strike he not only dodged the fatal blow. Also used magic to take away the captain's sidearm. Result he just lightly fired a shot and the captain was sent flying tens of meters away. The hero not expect that the current weapons of human beings would have such terrifying power. To the captain's front then fired several more shots at the other's body. Bullets didn't have the power to break the armor. Killing pain had sent the captain into a breakdown. Same time the witches launched a counterattack against the humans. A witch was the first to strike. And all the soldiers into statues. Snake witch who manipulated snakes summoned a giant python to sweep across the entire battlefield. A short moment the human soldiers were killed and injured. Seemed to be very satisfied with this result. Use her physical magic. When she raised her right hand the soldiers all lost their gravity and floated in the air. Soldiers had already counterattacked with their guns in the first place. Let's change trajectory the moment they were about to hit. The moment they were like ants being played by the chief. It's when the chief thought she was winning she saw a scene of immense surprise. She realized that the witches who had just been killing each other had been wiped out by the other troops sent by the humans. Then realized that they had completely fallen into the trap of the humans. The other side the male leader was also interfered by the female leader thus giving the captain a chance to catch his breath. Even faster than before. The lead didn't even have time to react before he was sent flying tens of meters away with a punch. The captain wasn't going to continue wasting time. See him make a drawing stance ready to utilize this strike to completely end the fight. For this move was indeed very powerful. From the male lead being injured and dodging it many magical girls were unfortunately killed as a result. The heroine was saved by Anna in time. The second Anna herself was unfortunately hit. This scene in front of her the heroine cried sadly. On her hand the battle between the two continues. To end the battle as soon as possible the male lead used magic to summon a suit of armor as well. 
quickly launched his attack. Magic to strengthen his wrist, and then broke the enemy's weapon with a punch. But didn't expect was that his opponent was actually able to execute a repair program instantly recovering as before. With the broken garden the surviving witch had despaired. If the only tree of life has been destroyed are they really going to face extinction? A new round of soldiers arrived. And the battle between the two heroes has reached the moment of victory. The sword stabbed the hero directly he thought he had already won. But second a huge sword appeared above his head. It was cut off in an instant. What will be the outcome of this battle? What fate of the witch? You in the next installment.